Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to unbox some of these surprise eggs, as I just went to Walmart yesterday, and I found myself some of the brand new Captives color change figures. These are actually epic evolution figures my camera's not focusing there we go epic evolution figures so i guess it's definitely confirmed that the captives line as far as the dino trackers will definitely not be coming to the united states unfortunately that is an absolute travesty because i think that's the first line of captives we did not get here at all none of those and there were some really cool ones in there like the monolophosaurus and stuff that i just was dying to get my hands on but i guess we're not getting those so i guess we're now on to the epic evolution figures and what we do have does look pretty fun again we've got some pretty cool looking colors for the eggs this time around normally you just get that one color for all of the eggs this time it appears as though we've at the very least got three different colors and I did pick up two of each of the different colored eggs that were at my Walmart, so I grabbed just six for now, and then we'll see what we get. Maybe I'll grab some more later on. Well, I'm definitely hoping to get the entire line complete, so I guess I've got to grab some more at some point. Just wanted to grab six right now just to check them out. But you can see the artwork here on these new eggs. It's pretty cool. You can see we've got a really nice image of the Rex. If you come over here, you can see you can watch your dinosaur change colors in water, which is really quite interesting. And then, of course, we have over here states that there is color changing slime. And then we've got a nice image of the Triceratops there. I don't know if I'm really going to do the color change thing right now. I think what I'm going to basically do is just unbox them. And then when I get the entire line, then maybe we'll do the color change thing to see how they look from there. So let's start popping these eggs open. We'll just slide them all over here out of screen a little bit and then we'll open them all up and bring them in. So interestingly enough, as I was opening the eggs, I noticed that the eggs now have two different colors. The lower part of the egg is a different color, obviously, from the top. So we've got a green and gold egg here. And then once we pop it open, the packaging on the inside now has the color change slime, and they actually have it labeled again as far as the slime goes. I'm never really all that interested in the slime, so we're just going to pass on checking that aspect out because I don't play with slime. That usually just ends up going to either one of my uh, nieces or nephews or just going in the garbage. But you can see what the actual uh, packaging looks like for the dinosaur, which is pretty cool. I like that it has, of course, the color change thing going on here, showing off the, uh, again, hot and cold aspect. And then an image there of the T-Rex here with two different color schemes, which both actually look pretty neat for it. So the very first dinosaur that we have here is... Oh, it's the Kentrosaurus. How about that one for the first one that I get? That is like the best one that you could possibly get, I think, for the first one because I don't remember what all the species are that are in this new wave, but I know for sure that this is one we haven't had previously. And man, that is an absolute beauty of a figure. That one is really, really nice looking. I am honestly always so impressed by the captives figures. And look at, you've got all of the spikes and everything painted out. The plates up there are painted nicely. Everything looks honestly gorgeous on this Kentrosaurus. And then we'll go ahead and see what... Oh, look at this. So they've continued the cards. I did not know that this was something that was going to be happening. That is awesome. That makes me so much more excited. And actually, I wonder if the Dino Trackers figures had cards. That's actually going to kill me even worse if they did. Because I honestly love collecting these cards. And again, the Kentrosaurus card has a really nice sort of shiny effect to it. Almost like a glittery sort of a look. That is absolutely epic. And then you've got a really cool, yeah, absolutely epic evolution. Then you've got a really cool shot of the Kentrosaurus on the back. And now we can get a look at what the entire lineup is for this round of these figures. So, as we dive into these, you can see we've got ourselves an Indoraptor, a Dimorphodon, a Triceratops, a Kentrosaurus, the Mosasaurus, Dilophosaurus, Pyroraptor, Carnotaurus, T-Rex, a Trosoraptor, Indominus Rex, and Giganotosaurus. And then over here, we don't really have anything as far as, like, rare figures go. 
this time around it seems but you can see some stuff over here basically promoting the color change aspect and everything that they have going on for these figures but I am a little sad to see that the Monolophosaurus isn't in this round of figures I was really hoping that whatever new species were introduced in the Dino Trackers line, they would make their way over to these. So even if we miss that paint variant, we can still at least get the new species, but looks as though that is not the case, unfortunately. So the next one, we've got a red top with a green underside, looks very much so like a watermelon. And then we'll go ahead and pop this open. Of course, remove the slime. We're only interested in the dinosaur. Now we'll go ahead and open the dinosaur and see what we've got going on in here. This one is the Carnotaurus. All right, so that's a great one to go ahead and get, of course, for me, since Carnotaurus is my favorite dinosaur of all time. It is definitely still the same Carnotaurus sculpt that we've had previously with some recent updates to some of the figures i was kind of hoping we would get a different sculpt as far as the carnotaurus goes but it looks as though it is still the exact same one i will say though the eyes definitely look a lot better on this version compared to the previously released version where the eyes were always huge and then of course we've got ourselves a card for the carnotaurus and i like how the carnotaurus has like you know half of the body one color half of the body a different color and uh it appears as though I don't know for sure if this matches up with the figure itself, but it appears as though it's going to turn green, which uh, is pretty cool because that might give it the look of the novel version of the Carnotaurus. But you can see again, Escape from Carnotaurus, and then a really cool shot here on the back. Definitely really neat looking artwork. Then we've got ourselves a gold and red egg as well, and that would take care of the different color variants of these eggs. So we'll get all of this out of here and see if we've got ourselves a different dinosaur than we already have so far. This time, we absolutely do. We have the Indominus Rex. So we're doing pretty well so far because I often end up getting doubles of figures, and so far we haven't gotten any. Pop that head in there. Boy, that head is going to be a tough one. That is definitely not going to go in easily right now, which does not surprise me because that happens a lot to me. Some of them will go in so smooth, and then other ones will take some real convincing. So you can see the Indominus is definitely cool looking. They've definitely given it a very different color scheme compared to what we see in the uh, film in Jurassic World. I will say it almost looks like maybe they're a little smoothed out compared to what they used to be. I don't know if it's because of the color change gimmick, but they almost seem like they... Uh, are just a little bit smoother as far as the detail goes. That one does not want to stand. So I don't think the Indominus is going to stand right now. But we do, of course, have the card for the Indominus. And, of course, that classic shot of the Indominus trying to take down the Ankylosaurus with the gyrosphere in the background. Definitely really cool. And then again, some more awesome artwork on the back. The next egg, we're back to the red and green, the watermelon one. So we'll get all of this stuff out of here. And then we'll see what dino we have in this bag here. We absolutely have a different one that we didn't get so far, which is the Triceratops. Quite the interesting looking color scheme on this one as well. Boy, the first two were so deceiving because they went together so easily. Now the uh, Triceratops, oh man, and Indominus Rex are very different, but... Again, a pretty cool looking color variant of this figure. We have had the Triceratops, of course, numerous times in the past, but that doesn't make it any less appealing, any less cool looking with this newest version. And then we also have the card, again, sporting that really cool, again, very glittery kind of look for the Triceratops. And then, of course, Triceratops Fugitive at large. I like that it's basically saying where it was last seen and stuff at Big Rock, actually, National Park. So that's really quite cool as well. Oh, also, we have the back, which sports another nice image of the Triceratops. And then we're back to the golden red. And I always grab the wrong one first. We'll just get all of that out of here. And then this one seems a little bit thick, so I'm almost feeling like it might be a different one than we've had so far, too. We'll see here in just a minute. It definitely is. It's the Dilophosaurus. And, uh... Straight out of the gate, I'm kind of sad to see 
that they've used the older Dilophosaurus sculpt rather than the newer one for this line because the newer one is far superior to this one. This is uh, definitely the less appealing of the two, but I will say the color scheme they've given it is actually quite interesting. Very cool looking. And again, they always go so far to give you a really nice paint job on your figure whenever it's uh, a, you know, a captive figure. Even if it's a mini, they still do a great job. Look, you can even see variation of color even on the back of the frill. Like they've given it like a dry brushing or something to highlight the detail. So that's really impressive. It's actually, the color of this one is very reminiscent to an older Mattel Dilophosaurus that we had. And he is also not going to stand. The legs are a little warped. From in the packaging but then we've also got the card and the card sports some awesome Dilophosaurus art here and you can see that it looks pretty cool we've got Dilophosaurus the toxic terror and then some more on the back here as far as that Dilophosaurus I'm starting to think that maybe if you get the entire line they all combine to kind of create a very cool poster but I could be wrong kind of looks that way though and the final egg we have, we'll see what the last one is. That, oh, every single time I get the wrong one. We'll see what the last one is that we got here. Hopefully it is not a uh, repeat or anything. Hopefully it's not one that we already have here. But if it is, you know, that's just the way it rolls, I guess. I'd be pretty impressed if every single one was a figure that was different from the other. And it actually is. Would you believe that? That's actually impressive. But we now have the Dimorphodon here as well, and the head is on. And uh, this is actually another one that I feel like, even though it is pretty cool looking, it's another one that I feel like could definitely use an upgrade, like as far as the sculpt goes, because I just feel like with how good they are at sculpting dinosaurs out at times, like look at that Kentrosaurus, that is beautiful. They could definitely do a more updated, better looking Dimorphodon at some point. But this one is still pretty cool. Definitely an interesting paint scheme for it. And of course, at some point, whenever I can get the full line, I am quite intrigued to see how they look when they change colors. But you can see again, we've got the card as well with the Dimorphodon at a discount right here. And then on the back, we have the Dimorphodon soaring through by a Jurassic logo. So these are the ones that we got for our first round, our first six of these Epic Evolution color changing captives. Definitely some pretty cool ones. And I'm absolutely super hyped for this Kentrosaurus because it is so beautiful. But I'll have to work on getting the entire line. And then once I do... Maybe we can either just do an unboxing for the whole line or just, you know, jump straight to a review. We'll have to wait and see. Regardless, if you are interested in grabbing some of these for yourself, check your local Walmart because they should be there. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.